Hey y'all, Heather Boyd Wire here for Wire Lading TV every Wednesday. Uh, not always on time, but that's all good. So I'm going to pull up the video on my computer as usual to see who's hopping on. And hope you guys are having a great day, sunny day in Montreal. And today I had a special request that I'm going to be working on. Pretty excited about that. I'm just going to pull up. There we go. Excelente. Fantastic. So today I had a special request from Victoria. Uh, she was interested in making a three-dimensional wire ro standing rose. So I thought that's a brilliant idea. And uh, whoop. hi Santana, hi Promise Joy, hi Rini, Susan, and Tirzavo. Hola. Hey guys, how are you? So yeah, so Victoria had asked for this wire rose and I thought it was a great idea. Hi Sandy. And it reminded me of this beautiful flower that Mark made me many, many, many years ago. And uh, it's got some beautiful words on there and it's got, got made with plastic tubing and uh, other wire uh, and tubing here. Uh, so I'm gonna work on something out of wire, like a three dimensional rose like that. So I'm pretty excited about that. Got some more people hopping on, Genesis, and Diane, hi, 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 and Connie, fantastic. Good, so I am going to, as usual, flip my screen and get working. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys first before I flip my screen, the wire that I'm going to be using because it's on a big roll and you won't see it. But I have this humongoid roll of red wire from a hardware store. Actually, I don't know, I think Mark picked it up somewhere at a bazaar or something, but it's 18 gauge wire. It's a mega roll and I use this for a lot of things. So I'm gonna make the rose out of this wire. And then I have some other artistic wire for the stem. So I have to put it on the floor because it's super heavy. So I'm gonna just flip the screen and we're gonna get started. And I don't know if Victoria's gonna hop on, but hopefully she will. Uh, Connie says, my first time here. Well, welcome, fantastic. So here is the rose that Mark made many, many years ago. We bring it out at Christmas time. It's got some beautiful words. Um, it says, I'm trying to see, je t'aime, and lots of hearts, and to, to amo, that's Spanish. That's cool, wow, and I love you. All kinds of beautiful things. Wow, Mark, thank you. And, oh, he said bienvenue, so that's awesome. So let's see what made you start doing crafts like these. Well, um, I've been doing wire art for 30 years. I've actually done crafts all my life, but um, and I was making jewelry at the time, but when I met Mark, uh, he was doing wire uh, bicycles, and I sort of picked up the wire medium and taught myself how to use it. So that was super fun. Uh, Ishita, hello. So guys, let's just get started. Now, something I wanted to do, I always try to troubleshoot ideas. And I had this idea that you can make a flower with lots of little hearts. I thought it would work well, but I wanted to kind of make a template. Now, this might not go anywhere, but I'm going to try it because that's what I do on this channel is experiment with things. So I have a yogurt pot and I'm actually going to cut this. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just going to try to make a kind of a template thing. So we're just going to cut this open and I'm going to use the plastic. I'll bring it off the screen so it's not like in the way. So here's the plastic and I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work, but I want to try to make a little kind of a template with this. So I'm going to just cut a piece of that, cut it off and see what I can do. Because I had two ideas. One was to take these markers and make a kind of a heart with that. So I'm going to try that as well. So I'm going to get some uh, tape. This is my mailman tape, as um, Mimi calls it. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take these two together. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to start by taping them here. And I'm going to bring this. Okay, I'm going to bring this one around here. And I'm going to, so I'm going to just make like a little jig. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring this one down. Just put that in the crease here. And then bring this one around. So I'm going to start with this type of thing that hopefully I'll be able to trace. And it might or might not work. So we're going to see. And then I'm going to take some of this plastic and cut it across. 
Okay, we'll cut it straight across. It's kind of hard to cut on when it's round like that, but I'm gonna just do that. Okay, we're gonna cut that. I love making like little templates and jigs and stuff. And then what I was thinking, don't know if it's gonna work, I'm gonna fold this in half, okay? I love your cutting utensil, my scissors, aren't they cool? Valeria, I love them with the um, leopard print. I think those are from the dollar store. Somebody gave them to me at one point. So now I need to just, I don't need a lot. I'm just gonna cut like, I don't know, maybe about that much for now. We're just playing around. And then what I was thinking is you can tape it here and it would almost make like a little heart shape, but maybe I would have to do this in the other direction but then it's gonna be like more rounded, which would be fine too. So I think what I'm gonna do, and then the other idea I had to was just to actually make the heart with this shape too, which might be good, except these are gonna get squished in. So you know what I probably should have done is maybe just taken this, and let me first make, make sure these are a good size. Like if I bring that one in here and around there, it might just work like that. Let me just try. So I'm going to bring this. Thank you so much, Heather, for your helpful guide in the community tab. My pleasure. Yes, that's not, not a problem at all. So I, yes, so I put some templates and stuff in the uh, community section. And there's more templates actually on Discord. So I'm going to uh, link those up as well. And so sometimes when I have patterns, I have some, I put them in the community tab and uh, I also sell them on in my Etsy shop. So if you're looking for any templates that aren't there, I have a bunch of templates in my Etsy shop for uh, like patterns and jig templates and stuff like that. So this is interesting. If we put it like this, it almost makes like a, heart shape. I think that's going to hold better if we do it like that. So now I'm going to get some tape. Okay, I'm just going to take the tape and whoop, I have to cut a piece. And we're just going to get this set up. Sometimes it's the setup that takes longer and uh, it's okay. We're going to get there. So we're going to put this one here, make sure it's somewhat centered. And I'm going to just tape it at the side a little bit here. And then I'm going to get one, actually maybe I'll just take this one here and put it on the other side just to make like a heart shape. So this one snapped out. Now we're going to try to get it back in there to figure it out. So we're going to see. I love how you're doing this on the fly. <laughs> yeah, this is what this is what I do on the live streams is I always like kind of just play around with ideas like the idea I had sort of before the live but I haven't tried it before so that's why I love the live streams is I always try new ideas and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't so but this is always a good opportunity to try different things so we've got that what I do need though is like three hands because it's really hard it's really hard to um, be able to hold this at the same time so maybe if I put this one here okay, I'm gonna put this one here and I mean, after all this, it might not even work, but we're going to just see. So we're going to bring this one in here, stick that one in here and around and see, it kind of makes like this heart shape and you really do need the markers to hold it in place. Otherwise it's, um, it's not going to work at all. The, these would collapse. Okay. It's very clear of making utensils, clever way of making utensils. Thank you. Um, you See such an expert when it comes to wire crafts. Yes, well, I've been doing it for 30 years. So um, I think they say if you do uh, 10,000 hours of something, you become an expert. So I'm pretty sure I've done many more hours than that. So, uh, so I guess I would qualify. So now we're going to just reinforce it a little bit more. So there's lots of tape on there so it doesn't get distorted. And I mean... Like I said, this might work, this might not work. We're going to see. And probably what I could have done is also like tape those, these ends inside, but I don't know if I could even get a tape in there. I could try, stick the tape inside. I don't think that's gonna work, but we can try it just to kind of get them to stay together a little more. Just experiment with it. And sometimes I'll do these like prototypes and then I'll figure out a better way to do them after. So we'll see. Wish, uh, wish had some beads. Yeah, yeah, beads are fun. I'm not going to be using beads today, 
but beads are sure fun. Um, sometimes you could get them at like bazaars or garage sales and or secondhand stores and just take old jewelry apart to make beads. And I've even made my own beads. So here's the heart. Uh, after all that, we'll see if it's actually going to work. And so then what I'm going to do is get some of my wire, my 18 gauge wire. A breath of me says, grateful for you. Aw, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. So here's our wire and I'm going to cut quite a bit. So um, to measure it, let me just see if I cut one, two, three. So I'm going to cut about three feet of wire just to be sure. I always take beads from my old necklaces. That's a great idea. I think that's a fantastic idea just to recycle old necklaces and stuff. And uh, yeah, really, really good idea. So now here's our here's our red wire and the idea was to wind it around here but like i said this i might have had you know what might have been better is to do like a stiffer kind of like cardboard or something on there so it doesn't collapse but we're just going to see if it's going to work so what i was thinking was just to take this and then you kind of bend it in there and then bend it around here and I'll show some other ways to do this after. So we're just going to kind of trace the shape. Good way to recycle. Absolutely. So now we're going to just trace the shape. The hair sticking to my finger. I'm not sure why. There's so much static electricity in the winter time. So now we're going to bend this and then just keep going around. But you have to actually kind of push it in between those two markers. And the thing about this is it's going to probably end up being a little bit abstract just because of the nature of the wire and stuff, but it's kind of interesting. But the idea is that the, the petals will be more or less the same size because they're following the same template. So you see, I'm just wiggling them in between those spaces as I go. I'm not sure how many petals I'm gonna need. Uh, I think I'll need like quite a few because usually when you do a flat uh, rose type of thing or a flower, you would put say five petals, but because I'm trying to do it more three-dimensional I'm doing a little bit more but I'm I'm even thinking I might not have enough wire but we're just going to play with this and see perfect for val exactly for Valentine's Day because Victoria had actually messaged me to see if I could make a three-dimensional rose for Valentine's Day so that's sort of the idea so now that we've done this it's basically a whole bunch of hearts right so now we're going to take it off the template and careful it doesn't spring out of place so that's kind of cool it worked out pretty well and uh, I'll save that for later and we're going to take this Asha says hi Heather Boyd nice hi Asha how are you um so Asha you were working on the flower uh, pendant I think so uh so let me know how you're doing with that and uh yeah sometimes you guys make re special requests for videos and stuff in the comments so that's really cool so i think what i have to do is just like attach these at the bottom to be sure that it's gonna stay okay so we've got that here but now the question is what the heck do we do with it so i'm gonna just secure it there and then this side too i should probably secure it in some way here as well. So we're just going to take this and then bend it through the other way to secure it. It looks like it's, yeah, very 3D hard. Uh, it's cool, eh? And so let's try to make it into a flower and see if it actually works. And I can always add some other things to it. So now we're just gonna kind of sculpt it around. Oh, this is, I'm liking this already. So we're gonna go around and sculpt it. Okay, around like that and try to get it to look like three-dimensional. So I'm just twisting this around. Ooh, I really like this. So we're gonna go around and around and it makes a kind of like a 3D, wow, that is really cool, I like it. So now what I have to figure out is what kind of things are in the middle of a rose like they have some little pistols and stuff so that for that I might use some beads um, I'm gonna pull up a picture of a rose on my iPad so I can see how I want to embellish this and then I'm going to um, also do the stem so I'm gonna do that uh, let me just pull up pull open Google over on my iPad and just look up a picture of a rose which I probably should have done before but I didn't uh, 
I'm not prepared as usual. So we're just going to check it out. Images. Oh, so it's got like little bits and stuff inside and maybe some beads. So let me get my, let me get my beads. And I'll show you guys what I have. Yeah, I probably also need more petals. Actually, you don't really see much in the middle. You know what? You don't, inside the rows, you don't really see that much, but I think what we need is smaller petals now. So let me get some more. I'm gonna get some more wire because it doesn't look like you see much inside. So I'm gonna get another, maybe three feet or two feet of wire. And I'm going to do some more petals inside, but these I'm gonna freeform to see a different way you could do it. I think we can use this technique for flowers and also add pom-poms. Ooh, that'd be fun, I, very cool. And uh, where the seed begins, I love it, fantastic. I painted a whole picture of an angel constructed with heart shapes. Ooh, very nice, I love it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another tool, which is basically a Sharpie. And let's just try to freeform some more hearts and put them in the middle to build it up a little bit. So let's go ahead, we're just gonna take this and we can, uh, either with the pliers or with the Sharpie, we can just go in and I'm gonna just figure out how big I wanna make them. Because the thing with this is you can just do them by eye and then trace them. So it's it's pretty easy to do. So let's, I'm just gonna figure out how big I want these to go. Well, we want them a little bit smaller. So we're gonna just go in here, make them a little bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and bend this with my pliers. So this, we can just take this and just basically do the same thing we did with the tool, but we're just gonna trace it by eye. So this is probably easier than going through all that fuss to make the template, but it just shows you how you can do it without the tools. And it really doesn't matter if these get bigger and smaller as you go, it's totally fine. It's really helpful, awesome. Okay, so there we go, so we're gonna, um, take this one and just trace the heart shape and just do how many we can uh, to make it as full as possible. Cause I think that's the beauty of the rose is it's very dense with the petals, you know, and it looks really pretty with, with lots of petals. So we're just gonna keep going around, keep tracing this. Don't worry too much if it gets bigger as you go, might get bigger, might get smaller, depending on how you work with it. But the idea is to get them more or less the same size-ish. So, hi, Galen. How are you? Good morning. Ah, oh, it's morning there. It's uh, just after 1 o'clock here, so it is early afternoon. Mm -hmm. Loving your technique. Thank you. That's Yeah, this, this way is really fun to do, and you don't need a template because you can just, like, go for it, right? And just just keep your tools handy, and I'm just alternating with my large round pliers and my uh, Sharpie. I haven't really counted how many petals. I'm just using up the wire basically. But you see, like even if you don't cut a wire that's long enough, you can just add wire as you go. So here's all our hearts here, and we can do the same thing where we just hold it together. And uh, it's 1226 here, cool. And that's p.m. afternoon, nice. Hi, Terry. Hi, Paula, you're late. No worries at all, I was late too, so that makes two of us. So now I'm gonna just flip that one around and say this one, you don't wanna flip it through the, the whole uh, heart. You can just wind it around the bottom of this one if you want to as well, okay? We could just do that. And then you can either clip it or if you think you're gonna need more stability, to, so it's not wobbly, keep both ends. You can do that. Watch what gauge wire, this is 18 gauge wire. I hope everyone has fun afternoon crafting and watching the video, I'm going to come back and watch it later. Perfect, great, well have, have a great uh, day and be sure to check out the replay for sure. 9.25 p.m., yes, it's much later there. So now let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing we did with the first one and just spread these out. And as you go, this one, we're gonna to have to pull this one back a bit to hold it in place. But as you go, you can kind of sculpt them as you go. That's the lovely thing about this wire. It's copper 
And so it's very sculptural, sculptable. Yes, it's really, uh, it's really a nice wire. It's very soft. So we're just going to bring these ones in. And I don't know if it really looks like a rose, but we're just going to see because what we might want to do to get it look like more of a rose is you have to kind of bring these in in the middle. We might even have to do a smaller one uh, to go inside of that. So I'm just going to put this one in here and it looks maybe more like a magnolia. I think maybe I didn't get the shapes right, but I like the fact that they're hearts. So let's just go ahead and see how we can position this in a way that it's going to hold in place. So I'm gonna just stick that so the two ends are in there. And then what I wanna do is just attach these. So squish it in as much as you can. Take this end and just bring it in and really like turn it around, tug. Like that's one of my new favorite words when you're doing wire art is just tug it as, as hard as you can to get it to stay in. And then this one too, bring it around and tug it perfect oh wondering what we're doing yes thank you we're doing a rose uh victoria had asked for a three-dimensional rose and so this one i'm just going to double check pictures of roses to t uh, to see how they look yeah that's not too bad so actually some of them looks like they kind of like go out a little bit at the i don't know if i could adjust this in a way that kind of put them out like they, they looks like they kind of get bent out a little bit from towards the outside so that might be interesting too like you could do all kinds of ways like sculpting these in a way to make it look about right how you want and then it looks like you know towards the middle it gets more like kind of compressed towards the middle so what I'm going to do for the middle is I'm actually going to try to maybe even bend these in a little bit to to get them more closed in the middle to see if that's going to work. So we're just going to play around with it. Maybe bend these in a little bit and you can even add more uh, another wire to the middle if you want. You know, you can just keep adding these or cut your wires longer. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. But this gives you a somewhat idea. I don't want to make it too crazy. So I think I'm going to just stop there, but there's definitely a lot you can do uh, with it. Uh, to get the shape a little bit more right. So we're going to just do that. And then now what I need to do is the stem. So I have these sort of ends sticking down here. And then I have some thicker wire. I have this 18 gauge wire green. So I'm going to work with that and try to do a kind of a stem. So let's just take that one. And... Uh, Perfect. So now I'm going to take a long piece of this, quite long, and then I can always add other pieces to it, but let's cut a couple of feet of that. And the idea behind this one too is I want to be able to have it stand up. So that's going to be the tricky part. But to start with, I do want to wind it around the end of this. And I'm just looking at the picture as I go. So I'm going to just take this and wind it around a little bit. Uh, to get this to stay in place. So we're going to take that one, wind it around. Okay, maybe I'll just going to save that bit to do the little edges of it. And I'm going to bring this one around and wind it a few times around. This is really awkward to hold sometimes. So we're going to take this. Yeah, so we're going to bring this one around and take that. Whoops. And just get it started. It's really easier to wind it when it's you're holding with the other hand but we're just gonna try it like this and around there just a little bit like that to start it and then the thing is I want to get rid of these red uh, bits so I just have to decide what I'm going to do with that what I might do is actually just bend one up just to hold it in place because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do with my end so I'm just going to bend that up and is the green wire for the stem? Yes, yes, yeah, green wire for the stem. So we're gonna see what we could do with that. We're gonna push this wire up. It's really just to hold it in place. And then I think we can just clip the rest of the red wire, hopefully. So I'm gonna clip it. Hope it's not gonna like 
become unstable, but it should be, it should be okay. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do like that. And then what I was thinking, because this isn't the strongest wire in the world is I'm going to, I want it standing up, right? But this is, it's not the strongest wire, but it might be okay. Let me, let me see what we can do about this. But first I'm going to do some little uh, uh, sort of leaf things around the outside. So let me just take this. I'm going to do some leaf things. Looking really pretty. Thank you. So we're going to take this and just make some of these little things that go around the outside of the rows. So we just just a few to make it a little bit stylized and try to try to make some nice fluid lines as best you can. So we're just going to kind of bend that around to do like that. And then this one too, we can kind of bend it around and around and up. I probably am going to have to add some more wire, but I'm just going to do like three little leaves to start and then we'll go from there. So we're going to bring that one down, bend that one back up. And I have tape sticking to that, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then so we have these like little kind of flower, uh, little uh, how do you call them, uh, leaf things. So I'm just going to try something here. I just want to make it more interesting. So I'm going to twist that. And this one came out. So this one, I'm going to, I'm actually going to undo these a little bit. They're not quite working how I had planned. So I'm going to bring this one around here and do one here. And then I'm just going to twist that one. Yeah, sometimes I pull it back and then it doesn't work that well, but that's okay. I'm just going to play around with this because I, I like the idea of like having them a little more separate. Just like, I'm just really trying to make them more sculptural. So I'm going to bring this one, twist it around again, take that. Thing with these is there's so many possibilities of things you can do that sometimes you get lost in the decision making process. I don't know if this will work, but I think you can make a round base for rings that maybe it can stand. Yeah, I was thinking to do like a little spiral or something to make it stand. So we'll, we'll see how that goes when we get there, but it should, it should work out okay. That leaf got a little bit distorted, but that's okay. Because what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to finish this end. I will add more wire to that because it doesn't, um, I'd like to put more leaves around the base. And this is just to give give us an idea though. So yeah, so what I was thinking is we could do like a little sort of roundabout base, but I also do like the idea of doing it twisted. So let me try that just for the sake, because there's there's never, time is never wasted doing these. So we're just gonna try it like that and then just try to do a twisted wires thing to see how it's going to work. And then so if we take this and just twist it up, it just is gonna make it a little bit more stable um, unfortunately, working underneath this iPod of uh, my camera, I don't have a lot of wiggle room, but I'm going to do my best to do a, a kind of nice uh, twist here. And then we're going to, we're going to do, uh, bring it up to the top. And then I'm going to actually add some wires after for the leaves because my wire isn't long enough, but that's okay. We're just going to do it this way just to give it a little more interest and to give it, to make it a little more stable. So I'll just keep doing this, twisting, and then we're gonna go. Mustafa, how are you? Oh, no worries at all. I was a little late today as well. So uh, no problem at all. Mustafa, we're working on a wire rose. This was an idea from uh, Victoria. She messaged me on Facebook to see if we could do a wire uh, rose. So I'm just trying to make this wire a little more stable, coming back up to the top, and I'll add some leaves after. And I like that it's kind of loose and a little wonky, but that's fine. So we're going to bring this right up to the top, and then I'm going to have to form maybe a little bit more of the leaves around the top with this wire. So let's just bring this one up. Okay, bring it right up to the top, and I'll just form a little more leaves here. So if we just go in, this is going to be easier if I, to show you guys like this. So if we just go in like this and kind of, I like that it's like a sharp bend on the leaf. I think it's a little more realistic and then bring this one in. Okay. 
Hi, Pamela. How are you? Oh, not too late. That's that's not a problem at all. So there we go. So we're going to go like this, and then I'm going to twist these together. So there's a bit of a... It's really awkward to get out right now, but let me just get this in here. And when you twist, it's always good to have, like, one going, like, that way and then one going that way it's like an x shape and then you just i think if i hold that side and twist that way it's going to be better so we're going to go around like that so that just gives it a little bit more of a twist we're going to bring that one around and i don't think i need too many uh, petals so we're going to bring this one in here maybe i'll do another one and then you can always sculpt them after you know you could do your basic shape and then you can just sculpt it and I think I want one more because it's, uh, I don't like even numbers. Odd numbers are always more interesting. So I'm gonna bring this one in and then just form one more leaf. And then we're going to do some leaves on the actual base. So we're gonna bring this one in here and bring that one around here. And we're just going to twist that one around a little bit, okay. And maybe I should secure it in there as well. We're going to just see, bring that one around here. And I will just, here, I'm going to bring that one above actually here because there's still a little bit of red part that I wouldn't mind to cover up. And I'll bring that one around. I don't have much end left, so I'm just going to take that one around here. Whoops, I just hit my camera. So there we go. And we're going to give it a clip. Okay, and then we can just kind of play around with the shapes of the leaves as well. So we can pinch these in a little bit more if you want to. And then you can make them a little bit wider if you want. And then you can just kind of sculpt them around the base of the rows. So this is, you know, just the finishing touches. You can play around with these as you like bend this down you could kind of like give this a little bend give that one a little bend and then for the stand we're just going to straighten that out a little bit more and then if I have my round form so I have these pill bottles that I use for the round forms so I'm going to get one that's like a medium size is there any way to if we make a bunch of roses, how do we connect them together? Oh, for a bouquet. So for a bouquet, you would just, you could make a bunch and you could definitely like just wind them together. That would be really beautiful. That's a great idea. So now to make the spiral, I'm just winding it around uh, just a few times like this. I might not have made the stem wide enough, but we're just going to see how that goes. So I'm going to take this, bend that one down a little bit. I guess I could have even made like this more circular to be more solid, but it should be all right. So the idea would be you would just kind of bend, bend it around to make like a spiral and then just keep shaping it. And then the, the idea would be, I don't want it to be too short either. So I'm gonna try to make as small a spiral as possible. And then we could just bring it around here and then after I'm gonna put a few leaves. So I'm just gonna to try to bring it up as much as I can, bring that one in there. And to get it, like if it's rocky, you just have to kind of bend that out a little bit. So, it, so it's actually gonna be flat, that's the thing. So we're gonna just keep playing around with that, see how it goes. And you want it balanced, right? So the weight has to be somewhat in the middle. I'm gonna open this one up a little bit as well and just see how it goes. So we're gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it being too perfect yet, just yet, because once you add the leaves, it's gonna be a little different. So that one's standing, it's open and airy. Yes, definitely open and airy for sure. So now I'm going to get some um, green wire for the leaves and just try to do some nice shapes of leaves to go on the outside. So let me cut a nice long piece and we're gonna get that one in there. It looks gorgeous, thank you. So now let's just go ahead and take some uh, pliers and try to get the shapes of the leaves. So the uh, rose leaves are just more like this kind of shape. Just gonna bring this one around. And 
If you have trouble with shapes too, you can always like print some templates off the internet just to just to trace like clip art or something. So I'm just gonna try to get a few leaf shapes. So we're just gonna do like this one like here. And you can even fill them in after if you wanna fill them uh, to make them more like filled in with the color green. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do, these are usually pretty close together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one here and then one here. And I'm just freeforming it, but you can definitely trace the shape if you want. So we're gonna bring that one in here. Okay, and out, okay, there. And then I'm going to bring it in here and do one more. So I'll do like a set of three leaves. I think it's gonna be nice. So we'll bring that one in here. I'm gonna twist it around one more time. Bring that one over here and then do another leaf to make like a set of three. So let's just go ahead and get that one. And around and down. And hopefully this is a good size. So I think I'm gonna wanna fill these in a little bit though. I find them a little bit plain. I can see, I'm gonna see if I have any other thinner wire that I could fill it in with. Like for now, this isn't too bad. So these are the wires like that. I'm gonna see what I have for other green wire because I might have some in that color, but I'm not 100% sure. No. I'm not sure I have the right color at all, but let me see. Um, two, four, might be, if I have some 24 gauge wire, it would be good, but I don't know if I have any or not. I have some multicolored wire that's kind of cool, but I think I would want to use a similar color. I have this one that's not too bad, and this one that's a little darker. So I can always play with those and see. Okay, so let me just play around with the idea since we like to experiment how we can fill it in with some colors. So I'll just grab this one and take a big piece. This is 24 gauge wire. And I've done things before where I filled it in with like the swirls type of thing, but I'm not sure for a leaf if it's suitable. So what I'm gonna do is actually just Go in here, uh, wind this around the end. We'll just wind that around. I've also filled in things with crocheted wire before, which is kind of cool. But if I start with something like this and bring it like right down, so we have like the center point of the leaf. Already that's better because it looks a little bit more detailed. And so if we just bring that one in here, then we can probably just uh, do some like lines up and down and stuff. So let's just go ahead it Helps to organize by gauge. Yeah, I have all my wires in separate zippy bags by gauge and it's very it's very very helpful for sure Yeah, no, it's uh, it's good to keep them organized. I don't remember how I used to um, Do my wires, but it wasn't really like this now. I'm not sure I'm liking this or not. I'm just going to play around with this for a little bit first just to see. I'm not sure I like that twist on there, but I'm going to just see. You almost want to weave it back and forth. So if I bring this one in here and I'm going to bring it up, I'm just going to keep playing with it until I have an idea of how I want to go with it. But I mean, you could just do something very abstract too. That's not bad either. So we can bring it in. But if you guys are wire weavers, you can definitely weave uh, weave the wire in there. Um, I'm personally not much of a wire weaver. I find it uh, takes a lot of time. But uh, I'm just going to play play around with it and see what happens. And then we'll go for there. For there. So Mustafa, if you're on, uh, tell me what you're working on. Mustafa works on a lot of watercolor and uh, quilling and all kinds of stuff. And I, I'm always interested to see what he's working on these days. So let me know what you're working on. And also next week, we're gonna start the uh, paperclip challenge. So that's gonna start on Monday. Hi, Karen. Well, on Monday, we're starting the 10 day wire, no, 10 day paperclip challenge. That's what it is. So we're going to, if you have paper clips, uh, great. If you don't, maybe try to pick some up 
And if you don't have, if you can't get paper clips, you can use 20 or 18 gauge wire. And we're going to make stuff out of paper clips. It's gonna be super fun. So every day a new project. Uh, usually the challenges are on Facebook, but this time I'm not doing it on Facebook. This time I'm doing it on Discord. Uh, I'm gonna put the link here. This is the link to my Discord group and it's going to be in the paper, whoop, this is all caps. Paper, paper clip challenge. In, that, in the paper clip challenge section, we're going to be sharing pictures of our work from the paper clip challenge. So if you guys want to join, uh, yeah, 18 gauge is thicker. Uh, so if you want like something stronger uh, or thicker, bigger, you can use 18 gauge. And uh, otherwise, uh, paper clips are usually about 20 gauge, but they're made with steel wire. They're much stronger than like with copper wire. So you can use you can use any any of those. Oh, now I did a twist. I didn't mean to do the twist there, but uh, here let's just go that way. We want to do it this way, and this isn't too bad. It's it's filling them on out quite nicely. Uh, I wasn't sure how I was going to fill out these uh, these leaves, but I like the way they're they're looking. So I'm going to just bring this one down and just finish the end here and then clip it, and then I'll do another one. I don't have any pliers to cut paper clips. Ooh, that's tricky. Is there any way to cut paper clips without pliers? Well, I actually have a video on how to make things out of paper clips with no tools, and one way to do it is just to bend it back and forth uh, with, um, and then it'll snap. But it's gonna be a little bit tricky to do some of these projects if you don't have tools. So um, just do what you can, you know, if you, uh, maybe you'll find a way to do it, but definitely look on my channel for the tutorial of how to make uh, paper clip stuff without tools, because that might be useful, that might, that might help you. So this is coming along, it just, it just fills it out a little more, and then I'm gonna just go ahead, and all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just taking my fingernail and bending it at an angle, at the center point and then it kind of looks like it's coming out from the stem so that works pretty well perfect uh oh exquisite hello how are you nice uh da, 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 da. paper clip challenge on youtube yes so the paper clip challenge is going to be on youtube and basically how it works is every day Starting Monday, I'm going to post a tutorial on something you can make with a paper clip. So uh, if, you make the, if you make the item uh, from the tutorial, you can share the picture in the Discord group. And at the end, I always have a draw of everybody that made something in the made the 10 items in the challenge. I have a draw to win prizes. So last time we had the uh, what was the last challenge? Mustafa helped me out there. Was it, uh, was it the bracelet challenge? I've lost track already. Uh, we've done a ring challenge. We did a um, earring challenge. We did a pendant challenge and we did a bracelet challenge. So now, I, oh no, we did the gift challenge. That's what we did. Before Christmas, we did the 10 day wire gift making challenge. And that was, that was it, Mustafa, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Hey Lils, how are you? So yeah, so this is gonna be a paper clip challenge. So if you have paper clips, great. If you don't, you can get away with work using wires. So not to work, not to worry. And Joan says, yes, hi Joan, how are you? Yeah, I, my mind went blank for a min, minute. I couldn't remember what the challenge was. So uh, that's okay. I was pretty crazy busy before Christmas. So uh, my memory might be a little bit, a little bit off. So let's just keep going with this around and around and whoop this one got a little bit distorted and I just am trying to fill this in so they look a little bit nicer and uh, if you have another way you like to fill in the leaves that's perfectly fine and this is the 24 gauge wire so I'm just gonna go I'll do one more and then I'm gonna head over to this this side here and then we're gonna fill in the other leaf actually you know what rather than get stuck and not have more wire I'm just gonna like make that push that down and then I'm going to go ahead to this side and then bring this one around here and up perfect so uh, uh, man is here from India awesome fantastic and Galen's here as well awesome everybody's hopping on so this let's do the last one here 
oh, my friend Bibi's here, but I can't go to the door. No, Bibi, hello. Wait. So I'm just going to keep going with this and around. And I'm just going to go in and out like that. So there we go. And we're going to do one more leaf and then we're going to be good to go. Perfect. I bought some new copper wire today. Oh, fantastic, Mustafa. That's amazing. That's great. Do you have any projects underway? No, je peux pas, ma. Sorry, my friends come to the door, and uh, I'll have to I'll have to go see her later. So it must be her day off. So round and around. There we go. We're gonna just bring this one all the way down, and just to fill it in as best as we can. Perfect. And I can always add another wire after, but I might just like leave it like that, and uh, you guys can just imagine how it's going to look. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Wire weaving projects, fantastic. Oh, that's cool. Can't wait to see what you make. Have you done the wire weaving, Mustafa? Because I, uh, I really haven't done that much. I find it very, uh, very beautiful and intricate, but it's just, it's not really my style. So, uh, but good luck with it. Yeah, weaving is, weaving is super cool. So here's our leaves they turned out not too bad but super fun and it just gives them a little bit more interest and then you can always like curve them out a little bit okay you could just like curve them out bend them give them like little you could give them like a little twist bend there's all kinds of things you could do to make them look more interesting and then we are going to add this um Bella hasn't done wire weaving yeah I I, I li like I said I like it but it's very labor intensive so now we want to just make sure we twist this one a little more and we're going to attach this one to the stem and so let's just figure out how we can do it and then you can add more leaves if you want so it just depends on how far you want them to stick out you twist that one as far as you want and I'm going to bring it I'll put it to one side and we'll just see and you can you can add another set after if you want to but I think for today I'm just going to do it very simple we're going to bring this one around bring this one up a little bit more towards the top it can always skip up through these other little leaves bring it around and then once you've got towards the end just give it a little clip Try not to cut through your other wires. And then this one, we want to get it to sit in a nice place. So it's pretty sturdy there, actually. We almost don't even have to bend it much in there. Or if you wanted to go ahead, say you wanted to go ahead and form another leaf, you could actually do that. Like, cause you ha I have extra wires. So maybe I could even do a single leaf. See, we have the three there, but we can also do another one on the other side. Cause there's a bit of empty space there. So beautiful never dying flower, exactly. Yeah, this flower is lasting forever because the one that Mark made me is like 30 years old. So yeah, these, these flowers last forever, guys. So now we're gonna bend that one in. And even if this isn't like super accurate, having uh, just one leaf on this side and three on the other, I kind of like the idea to, it gives it a little bit of asymmetry and it gives it a little bit of variety. So we're gonna bring that out. I love it, Heather, yay, thank you. I'm so happy, I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. So now we're gonna put one on that side. And when you twist, a, a little key to that is you want these to be like crossed like that, and then it's easier to twist them. Otherwise, you're just twisting one around the other. But this way, um, I just finished doing a wire weave pendant. Fantastic. So Mustafa, share that in the Discord group. You can share it in the share your work section. I would love to see it. So now, and you guys too, if you want to join the Discord group where I'll put the link again, uh, we share pictures of uh, our work uh, done uh, either based on my tutorials or if you have your own work, you can share them in the share your work section. And I even have a section for my art channel, which is really cool. I'm having fun with the art channel. So now we want these crisscrossed here and then we want to bend it. So we're just going to like twist this in a way it's a little awkward because it's um, it's already on the flower, so it's a little bit hard to twist. In fact, it's not like doing a crisscross twist at all, but I think 
what we can do is just kind of bend it around. Let's just bend it around. I'm not going to worry about it being too perfect here. So we're just going to bend it here, bring that one to the opposite. See, I kind of brought it to the opposite side there. And then what I'm going to do is just bend this back up a little bit to secure it. So we're just going to bring it here, bend it around, and then I'm going to give it a little clip. And then I'll just try to fill in that other little bit to finish it off. So we're going to clip that off here. And then so we have this other leaf now that we want to bring to this side. And it's maybe needs tightening up. So now we can tighten it up. Okay, we can tighten up that twist and it's going to be fine. So love to check it out. Yeah, so my art channel is called Heather Boyd Art. It's a new channel and I'm doing all kinds of like tutorials and demonstrations and all kinds of things like with with um, painting, drawing. I love drawing, so I do a lot of drawing. And uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. So now let's just fill in that one with the, um, with the thin wire and then I'm gonna balance it because right now it's not super balanced. So I'll just grab another piece of the 24 gauge wire. I'm just gonna give it a little clip just subscribe. Wow, you're so fast. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Sanjana. That's so nice. I posted a photo in the Discord group. Excellent. So I shall check that after the live stream. Fantastic. So now let's go ahead and take this wire and we're going to, it's really super awkward now that it's already attached to the rose. So my advice to you guys would be if you make this, uh, fill in the leaves first and then add them to your rows after. I think that's going to be the best thing to do. So now we're just going to put our little cross wire in here. Take that and bring it around and bring it around. I actually have a, a design too for some rose earrings that are super cute in the from the 10 day wire earring making challenge. They're not done like your usual roses that are done like a lot of people do those twisty roses, but they're just done, they look almost like tulip roses. Like they're really super cute. So excited to see the videos from your art channel, yay! And I wish I could do live streams on my art channel but I don't have enough subscribers, but when I have a thousand subscribers on my art channel, I will do live streams uh, on that channel as well. So that's gonna be super fun. But uh, I have a lot of fun. I do a lot of late night drawing and different things like that. So there's a lot of those uh, videos on there, which are super fun. So let's just fill in this uh, leaf the best we can. Uh, trying to access it. And uh, I'm just using my fingernail to do a sharp bend in the center of the leaf. I find that seems to be the easiest way to do it. So just center it, give it like, pinch it with your fingernail and give it a little tug. And then it makes like a nice little sharp bend. So we're gonna bring that one here. Perfect. And there we go, awesome. And, oh Joan, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Oops, oh, I, tried to, I tried to show your comment. Joan said to subscribe to my channel. Sometimes comments get, um, uh, get moderated. So, uh, so if your comment doesn't show up, uh, sometimes YouTube, YouTube hides comments that have certain keywords in them. So, uh, but I appreciate that, Joan. Thank you so much. And says it's beautiful, thank you. Uh, you can do premieres on the art channel. I can do premieres. You're right, Mustafa, I can do that. So if I... If I post a video, I can put it on Premiere and we can chat in the comments of the video. So that's a that's a good option. You're right about that, Mustafa. Fantastic. I love it when you did the, the lit the alcohol on fire. Wasn't that fun? So if you guys want to see me light my uh, painting on fire, go to my art channel because that was super fun. That was with my friend Patricia. She's like my best friend and and we do a lot of art stuff together. And she's a she's a great artist and she's a writer as well. And actually if you like us uh, reading and stories, she has some uh readings on her channel. She writes uh books for young adults and also uh, is started a, a series for adults as well. So let's just, and it's in the sort of the fantasy genre. So let's just cut that off. So we have all done guys. So now the key is to get it to stand up. I've done ink on fire and ceramic tiles. So cool. Yeah, that would be really fun too. We did it on glass. 
And yeah, it was super fun. So now we're just going to adjust these so it's going to stand. I could have done the, the base maybe a little bit bigger so it would, um, it would have more base to stand on, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna spread that out a little bit more. Okay, we'll just spread it out a little bit more and then I will, I'll hold it on its side so you guys can see it, but now right now you're seeing the top view. So you could just really just bring it in like that. You can make the base as big as you want, depending on like how much you want kind of showing. You can sculpt these leaves any way that you want as well. The little leaves, I don't know if I love these little leaves, but they're not too bad. I think I need them closer to the rose though. So I'm actually gonna push them up a little bit because I think these ones like really need to be just cupping the rose underneath it. So I'm just gonna bring those ones up. Those ones were my first little leaves. So they're, uh, they're you know, okay. They're, they're moderately successful, but you want them right up near the rose. So they're kind of like cupping the rose like underneath it. So we're gonna do that. And just this one got stuck underneath the petal. So now let's see if it's gonna stand. Seems to stand all right. We're gonna see which way it looks the best. That branch ended up being a little bit big, but that's not too bad. I'm just gonna bring these up a little more. So it's always in the adjusting that it's interesting. So there it is, guys. It stands up, fantastic. Love it, beautiful, thank you. It's my favorite rose I've ever seen, thank you. So now to see it on its side, I'll just bend it over and hopefully you can get a good view. It's hard to see, like if I hold it on this angle, maybe that's a better angle to hold it on. So lots of possibilities for this one. So pretty, thank you. So I'm gonna flip the screen, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a dry throat. So flip the screen. I'm going to bring this around. There we go. And there's a lot of my art collection in the back there. Those are our, um, art from other uh, friends that are artists. So guys, we did it, we made the rose and I don't think Victoria hopped on, but this was for her. And uh, thank you so much, Victoria, for the great idea. I'm really, really happy. It was super fun. Thank you guys for all your feedback and your uh, suggestions. I really, uh, this is what I love about the live streams is we're all working together to create something interesting. And uh, I'm wishing you all a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, stay tuned for the paper glyph uh, challenge. Uh, check out the uh, link to Discord to join Discord, and we'll be running the challenge in the um, paper glyph paper clip challenge section. Videos will be posted on YouTube every day starting Monday at 11 a.m. I'll um, I'll premiere them, and let me just take the videos. Fantastic! You look really beautiful. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I really appreciate it. So have a wonderful day, big virtual hug to everybody, and uh, we'll see you the next time. Thanks guys, thanks Mustafa, take care.